often. So if there's if there's one person at the urinal and there are four urinals or three urinals and a second person comes in and goes right next to you, you're dead. That's I a murderer. See. That's not how it's done. Wow, boy math is really something. Yeah. yeah. Love it or leave it. Tressy and Sydney, thank you for coming back. All right, here's how it works. Okay. We have rant topics that were just given to us by the audience. It's a little scary. It's and a little so, scary. And we don't have to talk about them, but if we want to. Uh, all right, here's the... <laughs> Here's the first one somebody suggested. The army has height and weight requirements, i.e. I have to get on a scale in front of my coworkers. Oh, oh I know about this. I know about this. <laughs> this is so important. I can't believe there's something I know about on here. I was so scared. Yes, this is true. I was gonna write about this once. Who are you out there? It's horrible. If you wanna be my source, contact me. I've been wanting to write about this. I think it's terrible. Um, the height and weight requirements are very strict and some, some doctors say they're not even aligned with like what is considered healthy and it disproportionately impacts women in the military, them trying to make weight, right? Okay, so if you wanna be my um, deep throat on that, holler at me. Uh, the next uh, that didn't go right. Oh uh, yeah, you I was like, to understand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cultural Woo! reference, Good. people. Girly, cultural <laughs> reference. <laughs> Google it. Let, no, actually, don't do that. Can't even Google it. <laughs> Can't even Google it. So sorry. Can't Google it. I said Happy Pride. That is. <laughs> happy pride. Thank you. Uh, next, <laughs> next suggestion is the Juneteenth celebration at the White House. I'll take this one. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was it was alarming the visuals. Uh, first of all, Juneteenth. Uh, why why did they celebrate it like two weeks before the actual date? That was weird. Uh, Joe Biden was there, and it seemed like he didn't know what was going on at all, which is on brand. I'm sorry to say, but he definitely just seemed like, why are we doing this? He couldn't catch a beat. Kirk, Kirk Franklin was there singing. I mean, legendary songs. It, it's it's almost as if he didn't know why he was there and what was going on. Um, I, I said, we don't need this. Like, I, I, I know you want to celebrate, but it was obvious that our own president didn't get it. And if he's doing that, then I, there's tons of people watching like, sure, I guess. Yeah, he was quite still. <laughs> and I, I do think- No, we... he wasn't still. He was, uh, it was almost like a rocking, like, you know, the cult rock where you're like, we're there, but not really. Maybe it's with the music, no? No. Mm -mm. Okay. It was offbeat. Well, everyone fucking vote for him anyway. <laughs> that, <laughs> that doesn't take away yeah. from the voting. But for me as a person, I was like, I don't like that. So. <laughs> um, and just as important of an issue, uh, big gaps in U.S. bathroom doors. Uh, it's out of control. I can see everything. Okay. Somebody is writing these out there for yeah. me. And whoever you are, I love you. <laughs> okay. This, we are the United States of America. Yeah, we are. Okay. And every time I travel, I come back to this country and I go, what's up with our bathrooms? I, yes. Why don't the doors go all the way to the floor? I get that we are a declining imperial power. I do. <laughs> But we do still send people to the moon. And it seems to me that means the bathroom doors could close completely. And why am I still wrapping up toilet seats like gift wrapping? To, for it to be clear? What's that about? I just, I do, I think we, the bathroom situation in the United States of America is a problem. Maybe, maybe they're trying to normalize, hey, like we all are peeing and pooping. It should oh, be no, no. an open concept, maybe. No, that's horrible. Maybe we should stop with the door. That's horrible. And just letting it, hey, hey. What are we afraid of seeing it's a family exactly? Gathering. We're we all doing all the see. same thing in there. What? What, what have you internalized? What, do you mean, what are you afraid of seeing? <laughs> Everything. What, why? Why? They should, what if they were just in a, just toilets in the round, just in a circle? <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have all this. We're, we're so lonely. Well, that's what it feels like. It feels like when you're in the bathroom, you're like, oh, I feel like the, whoever's next to me definitely pooped on me. So I, I also, you raised- I'm so disturbed by this. And that's fine. That's part of it. The, you, some, you raised another point, which I actually think is worth pausing on, which is 
taking pieces of paper and putting them on the seat. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's one of those things you do, be, but if you think about it for even a second, it makes absolutely no, no sense. sense whatsoever. Yeah. So the seat is so dirty that you can't touch it with your bare ass, but not so dirty that you take any actual measures to make it clean. Yeah. Rather, you put a completely fucking porous <laughs> piece of paper that does literally nothing. I mean, nothing, like nothing. And then put your fucking ass on that paper. Thank you. And then your warm butt warms the, and just, it just, you're just on the toilet seat. Anything on that toilet seat is, can, that paper is fucking permissible. So I'm never using the bathroom again. Like, this is the way that you just explain, like, why am I doing it? But so doesn't that mean, like, if you just think of it, doesn't that mean we should, like, that step that everyone's taking could just stop? Just, like, face it. Face it. There's nothing you could do. Get your ass on the seat. It's okay. No, We're all... No. People are doing no. that. I just want you to know. People no, no, are no, doing no, no, that. No, 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 no. Uh, I think that there is an invisible seat option, <laughs> which is... I don't know. Some I don't the seat condoms. They the, do have the. They seat, do. They, they right. have the seat condoms. They that. have the saran wrap that you put around. That is exactly and right. And then they switch it out. They do have it in some in certain bathrooms. I'm not but. saying I know the engineering required. Now, I am saying you either believe in science or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you either have some pride or you don't. And um, we got to put those together. Guys who pick the middle urinal first. I don't know what that, what does that mean? Yeah. That, so, so there's, a, there's an unspoken custom. I'm glad this has been the topic that we focused on. That's why I wanted to stick with it. So if there's a wall of urinals, there is a, a rule, right? And the rule is when you go in, you take one of the furthest. If a second person comes, they take the other side. And then, and then it gets complicated after that, and there's a, there's a kind of a decision tree depending on the even number, odd number, how many urinals. This is real. And so if, le if there were five urinals, the third person goes in the middle, right? If there's four urinals, you got to go next to somebody, and that's random. You can't really go wrong, right? If there's the, you, you basically want to, but you wanna, the third person wants to go at least one urinal away from another person. So if there's, if there's one person at the urinal and there are four urinals or three urinals and a second person comes in and goes right next to you, you're dead. I see. That's I a see. murderer. That's not how it's done. Wow, boy math is really something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a question. I don't know if either, any of you want, either one of you want to take it. Why do only Republicans have boats? Well, I, I don't know, actually. Uh, well, they are expensive, and you're trying to, is it a tax shelter? I, actually, I have the same reason they live in Florida. I have no idea. What do you think about back-end parkers, people who back their cars Oh, in? no. Oh. Wait, what's... I'm like, sorry, I don't. I don't New York or here? I don't, I don't drive. I yeah, don't, like, what's I, a yeah. car? Yeah, it's New a, York. Oh what's no, a I know car. what a car is. But what you like? What do you do? What do you? What do you do? What is it? These are the people who have withdrawn from the social contract of society. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and insist on holding up traffic in poorly designed parking lots to back into a space rather than pull in. And I'm gonna tell you what my real issue is with them. They insist that it is a morally superior decision. They insist that it's safer that way. And it's just, I don't care if it's true actually, if it's safer. What is important here is that it is holding up the line and the people who back in are never good at backing They're in. Never. So. That's true, yeah. You. <laughs> uh, I don't know about either of this. We can leave on this one. People that post entire concerts that they're at on their social media yeah. stories. Amen. Amen to them. Amen to them. Because, like, for me, I couldn't go to the Renaissance. I didn't. I did not have. I didn't have the coins. But I felt like I was right there in the front seat, and I salute those people. Thank you for spending thousands of dollars to see Beyonce four times in her whole tour, and I got this. I was right up. There. I saw. Beyonce's like the color of her eyes so clear. Some people were going in there with 4K cameras and I was just there on my toilet like, yes, sing. <laughs> sing 
Beyonce Giselle knows I was there. There is, it is like a strange thing now that like people don't, they like, when something amazing happens, they put something between them and the amazing thing. Yeah. And, and like, I, there is a value to it for people at home. But if you're at the concert, like, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a little sad. It's a little sad. I was at a Hozier concert recently. <laughs> the ladies like that one. And, uh, and his audience has gotten really young somehow. And so there are a lot of very young girls screaming and crying in the audience. And, but they were screaming and crying looking at the phone while he was right there. But they were crying looking at the phone. And I thought, I think we've missed something here. I'm not sure you've actually been to the show if you spend the whole time recording it. Yeah, like, I, I appreciate the, like, oh, like, uh, this is happening. I want to capture for myself from my vantage point what I'm seeing. It's like, I, I, there is something about, like, I feel like everyone's photo rolls become a kind of, like, archive of their experiences in some way. And if, you, if it isn't in there, it's sort of lost. And I, because if so much is in there, once something's not there, I can see how it would feel like it didn't happen. I think that's fine. But there's something about like just the whole time that makes me sad. What makes me sad is the people who are in the back, like the worst seats, they're like literally in the parking lot and they're showing us on their pixelated androids <laughs> the concert. I don't want that. I don't, I actually press not interested every single time and I block. And I report them as spam. Because why would you do that to my eyes? And why would you do that? Why would you do that to Megan Thee Stallion? Like, get the proper tickets. Why are you showing us this shaky, like, they never have the angles right. And I don't even know who's on stage. I hear the music. Those, the people who have bad cinematography when they're there at the concert, those people can go. Shame on them. Yeah. Shame on them. If you're going to go through all the trouble of filming this whole gun thing, le learn about the rule of thirds. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Tressie, Sydney, thank you both so thank much. Thank you.